right, welcome back to Sleecraft Sundays. This is the 11th episode. We put out a new video every Sunday. What we're gonna do in this video is we are going to prep the hull for the new transom. Sarah's gonna cut a, a new transom template out of cardboard and transfer that to plywood and kind of get that dialed in. And then I am going to remove the very front of the stringer. Uh, it's the worst part of the job because it's a closed bow and I have been procrastinating. I probably should have done this while I was waiting for the Kusa, but you know what, hindsight's 2020. So anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in. We're gonna get this thing trimmed up inside and then I'm starting to sand the entire thing and prep it for a new coat of resin. I am going to be using the Milwaukee grinder that is super awesome. You guys should buy one, link below. I don't make any money from it, but it's super cool and it's Milwaukee's best grinder, also their cheapest. This is complete bulk. I just made this up because I worked on this project and I think it's cool. So anyway, um, we're going to attack this thing and see how far we get. We're going to use the cardboard to cut out a rough template of the transom and just then drop it in there and make sure that it's about the right fit before we do it with the better, nicer cardboard. The nice cardboard. The nice cardboard. We don't want to waste that. Yeah. <laughs> It's like a wave pool. Ew. <laughs> Fiberglass dust and goo and icky. All right, so we just had the driveway redone. So we are going to back the butt of the boat onto this dirt. And then I'll be able to hose it out without all the nasty fiberglass water going down the driveway. All right, so now the back of the boat is pretty much trimmed up and ready to just be hit with a belt sander or a flappy disc or something to get a lot of uh, texture for a good adhesion on the resin. I still need to clean up the front half of the boat, so I need to suit up and honestly, I've been using this Tyvek suit to kind of prevent the fiberglass dust from getting on my skin, but it's getting pretty torn up and then when I'm moving around, it's kind of getting on my wrist and kind of forearm area. So I don't really want to wear long sleeves. It's pretty hot out. And what I just read about, which I'm going to try, is just using some baby powder. I don't know if this is going to work, but I mean, why not? If it prevents fiberglass dust, that would be amazing. So anyway, time to uh, suit up and attack the front of this boat. Then I'm going to pressure wash it and hopefully get to putting in the transom. So. Let's do it. 
All right, so this part's gonna suck. Um, I hate cutting fiberglass up in the front of the boat. It's so hard to see anything, and it's usually really hot. So I've been putting it off. There's like this much stringer left up there, and I didn't tell you guys because I really didn't want to do it. But at this stage, I need to clean the whole interior of the boat, and that's gotta go, so I left it for last. Yay procrastination. But what I'm gonna try and do to alleviate this is run a box fan here. I'm gonna try to lay on this side of the boat and cut, and I'm gonna hope that this suction here will draw all the dust out and I'll sort of be able to see what I'm doing, kind of. This is probably the worst part about restoring a boat, right here. Like getting up there, doing anything, under clothes bow, ugh. All right. Alright, so you know how I've been talking about doing no stringer? I kind of decided that I'm definitely going to do a stringer, especially at sea in this. Check this out. I don't know if that shows up. But the center of the hull, the glass is so thin that the sunlight from outside is coming through it. <laughs> Great. So, anyway, yeah, definitely doing a full stringer. By the way, this grinder's been awesome the whole time I've been using it on this project. Highly suggest you guys pick one up, link below. Um, I don't get any money out of it, but I designed the casting on it, so cool. Anyway, um, we're pretty much done. Now it's time to get to the sanding stage of this project. Basically, I'm gonna be roughing up everything in the boat to try to get really good adhesion when I put resin down everywhere. So this requires a flappy wheel and a belt sander. All right, let's do it. All right, dudes, that's it for this episode. Thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna be taking next week off, so tune in to Sleecraft Sundays uh, two weeks from now because I wanna get more done on this and spend less time editing. So it, the next the next episode is gonna be a monster because I have a feeling a bunch of stuff is gonna happen now that this thing is uh, pretty prepped. So stay tuned, thanks for watching. Have a good one, cheers.